I met Dr. Edion Nwajira, who is in charge of that unit. And uh, he says there's something called muscle spasm that is on his left back. And it's really causing him a lot of pain. But besides that, there is no other complication that the Honorable Member has. And if there should be any, would be the first to know and uh, we'll see how to further manage it. But as of now, Honorable Bobby Wine is actually in a, in, a, in, a, in a uniquely humorous mood and we were laughing with him. Uh, and so that was for Bobby Wine. I've just seen the Honorable Zake here. Similar situation. He's in a lot of pain. And he has wounds in his fingers. And I saw one on his left side, also a cut. Also in pain. But in both situations, uh, they have all been taken through MRI. There are no internal injuries. There are no, there's no internal bleeding. All injuries are external, arising from uh, what they've both said, severe beating when they were arrested. So that's the situation I've seen, and that's what I'll be communicating in Parliament this afternoon. This situation should not have happened. Never should it have happened. It's really sad that Honorable Abiriga was brutally murdered. And the campaigns to replace him in parliament has caused people this level of stress. It should not have happened. It shouldn't have happened. It was not necessary. But it happened. What lessons do we draw from this? What lessons do we draw from this as a country? It is something that should never have happened. The extent to which violence is escalating in this country is worrying. And we should all get concerned. Because if a by-election can cause this amount of tension, this amount of violence, you in fear of any other election coming up in this country. It is something we need to sit back, reflect deeply upon, because this country is enough for all of us. And we all have a role to play, and we can all play our respective roles without any interference. Why all this? We need to reflect on these matters deeply and find a way forward.